Even though the total solar eclipse is over one year away, the WTOL 11 weather team is here to prepare you for some of the impacts the eclipse is going to have on our local community. A lot of those impacts are going to be financial in nature. Northwest Ohio is going to be a hotbed for tourism with folks flocking in from across the country and even all around the world coming right here to our home to visit to see the total solar eclipse. So today we're going to break down just how many folks may be visiting and some of the effects it may have for local businesses and for our local economy in general. And we're going to look back to the 2017 eclipse to see some of the impacts that local small towns had due to the eclipse and some of the effects that we may experience here in 2024 due to this amazing total solar eclipse. So today we're going to break down the financial impact. Let's get into the data and look at some past examples to predict what you can expect about a year from now come next April. Even though a lot of visitors are going to come to the big cities in Ohio, including including Cleveland, Columbus, Mansfield and Toledo. It is really the small towns that are going to benefit the most. The reason for that is a lot of these small towns in Northwest Ohio, they just aren't hotspot tourist destinations in general. That being said, that is going to change this year. In 2024, a lot of those small towns in our region are going to be popular tourist destinations for folks who want to get the best view of the eclipse. It's not always the big cities that have the most minutes of totality. Sometimes small towns, and we're going to talk about a few of those, including Forest, Ohio. Some of those towns will happen to have the best view for the longest duration of this magnificent total solar eclipse. There are going to be millions of cross country tourists, some of which even coming from other countries to see this total solar eclipse, which is really a once in a lifetime spectacle for many individuals. That revenue is going to be tremendously beneficial for the small businesses in our area and for the local economy. There are some tourists who can spend thousands of dollars and spend a lot of time saving up money to make this an incredible and memorable trip. Here's some examples of local businesses that will benefit local hotels. Well, the sky high hotel rates are going to be one of the side effects. So if you are planning on traveling for the total solar eclipse, even if you live in Northwest Ohio and you're just a space nut or a fanatic and you want to travel a little bit to get a better view, keep in mind hotel rates going to be a lot more expensive than normal area restaurants are really going to see a boom in business as well, and they are going to see visitors like the witch they have never seen before. Also, local parks, last but not least, our beautiful outdoor recreational areas are going to see an influx of visitors for viewing that eclipse. And keep in mind that in April of 2024, a lot of those outdoor public places may be a little bit jam packed simply due to the sheer number of visitors. Some of those small towns that will benefit the most from tourism include Forest, Ohio, Bloomville, Ohio, as well as some other areas south of Toledo. Primarily locations like Seneca County are going to get the best view of this total solar eclipse. Forest has a population just a hair over 1000 and Bloomville a population of 867 based on the latest census data. It's kind of crazy to think about, but the number of tourists coming to these towns is probably going to exceed the number of actual residents. So if you were to visit Forrester Bloomville in April of 2024, you would see more out of town folks than actually residents who are from those towns. Tourists are going to come by the thousands and history has shown us that even these small towns get big time tourism and visitors during the total solar eclipse. Let's give a few examples. Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Now to be fair, Hopkinsville does have a population of oh, around 30,000. So it is a little bit bigger, but really Hopkinsville isn't much bigger than some of the Toledo suburbs like Perrysburg, Sylvania or Maumee. The city invested over half a million dollars into renovations and they planned 10 years in advance. Get this. 10 years of preparation went into the eclipse. They really wanted to spruce up the town and make it a really neat place to visit to really enrich that experience, not just for seeing the totality of the eclipse, but also for enjoying the local economy. Now, this is the number that is the most staggering to me, and you may find this interesting as well. Little Hopkinsville, or as they marketed it, Eclipseville. That's a nice way of putting it. They saw visitors from 19 countries and 46 states. That means almost every single state in the United States was represented in one small town in Kentucky. Now, will these small Ohio towns see visitors of the likes of this? There is a chance, even though our towns aren't quite as big as 30,000, there is the chance that we get visitors from a lot of states and even a lot of nations internationally.
Here's a few other examples. The last time we saw a total solar eclipse in the United States was in 2017. Now, Wyoming might not strike you as a popular tourist destination. Sure, there's a lot of winter recreation to be had there and a lot of beautiful sights to see, but the eclipse brought in massive amounts of tourists and revenue. In simple travel expenses, the state of Wyoming saw $63.5 million in eclipse travel-related expenses. That is a lot of money getting funneled into that local economy. Tourism was predominantly from out of state. Now that's a noteworthy number because if 75% of tourists in Wyoming were from outside the state, there's a good chance that most people coming to Ohio are also going to be from out of state. Sure, we're going to have a lot of people driving in from Michigan, from Indiana, from Kentucky. However, there is the chance that some come from far away, even from the west or the east coast. Last but not least, Wyoming saw $3.8 million in local tax revenue, and that's going to be another one of the nice benefits for our local economy is simply the amount of income tax as well as the amount of tax on things that are purchased and the amount of tax on things like just going out to dinner or hotel rooms as well. Casper, Wyoming is one town that saw some incredible impacts from the last total solar eclipse, namely that came in the form of hotel rates. Typically, if you want to stay in Casper, you can get a hotel for as cheap as $65 a night, even 195 bucks. That'll get you a pretty nice hotel in Casper. Now during the total solar eclipse, those numbers just went through the roof. Can you imagine this $900 to $1,300 per night? That is what hotel rooms cost during the last total solar eclipse, and it has to do with basic economics. The demand was incredibly high, and the supply was very low. Now, there's only a finite number of hotels and hotel rooms, especially in smaller towns. Even though Casper's a little bit of a bigger city, there was only so many hotel rooms to go around. And when you have a lot of folks vying for a small number of an item or a commodity, the price is going to go up. And and that's what we saw. Simple economics right there at work. Now, 50% of Eclipse tourism is typically from out of state, sometimes up to 75% as we saw in Wyoming. So generally, that's what you can expect in 2024. At least half of our visitors to Ohio, if not three-fourths, are going to come from outside the state to see that magnificent spectacle of the total solar eclipse. Here's another example of another West Coast town. A lot of those West Coast and um, Upper Mountains states saw the brunt of the 2017 eclipse. In Madras, Oregon, they saw $70. Uh, $200 per night room rates. That is normal, but during the eclipse, those rates were sky high. $600 to $1,000 per night is how much it would run you to get a room at a hotel just to see that total solar eclipse. But for a lot of fanatics and folks who view this as a once in a lifetime opportunity, it is worth it. Last but not least, since all the hotels were filled up, what happened is the state of Oregon auctioned off a number of campsites for folks with tents or RVs or who wanted to spend the night outside and perhaps have a prime time viewing location. Now this number is absolutely staggering and to most of us, the thought of spending $60,000, that's a lifetime of savings, but that is what some Oregon campsites auctioned off as looking at that incredible economic impact of the total solar eclipse. Last but not least, during 2017, in addition to some of those west states, some eastern states also saw the eclipse, including South Carolina. They had 1.6 million visitors, and a lot of those came from out of state. Remember we talked about the percentage of out of state visitors? They saw 800,000 of the 1.6 million from out of state, and that is exactly one in two or 50% coming from out of state. The economy really reaped in a lot of benefits with almost a quarter billion dollars, 269 million pumped into the state economy. Ohio is going to see a lot of financial benefits for a number of reasons. Obviously, Northwest Ohio is in a prime viewing location, but a lot of the big metro areas and the small towns alike are in prime viewing. Much of the Buckeye State from Cleveland to Columbus through Toledo are all going to experience totality, and that means we are going to have incredible views. Now, the 2017 eclipse took a very different path. Here's the line of the 2017 total solar eclipse. And remember, we talked about some of those West Coast states, those Oregon campsites. Oregon was in totality, Wyoming, and some of those upper mountain states. It also ran down towards Kentucky, as we mentioned, Hopkinsville or Eclipseville. And some of those East Coast towns and cities also saw it, like South Carolina. 2024 is going to actually run perpendicular to the direction of 2017, and that's going to 
going to provide new tourism opportunities, especially for the Buckeye State, which is ripe in that path of the 2024 eclipse the totality. This line goes all the way up to Maine and down to Texas and Arkansas, running perpendicular to the direction of 2017. In other words, some of the states that didn't have the opportunity for tourism last time are going to get in the prime spot for that eclipse tourism, including Ohio and Northwest Ohio right here at home. Time will tell how significant these financial impacts are, but I'm pretty confident that we are going to benefit financially, and this is going to bring some amazing opportunities and financial benefits for our local economy. As the total solar eclipse draws closer, you can trust the WTOL 11 weather team to prepare you for the impacts that it'll have on our economy.